Uh, just keep talking. Okay, um, but <laughs> what were we talking about? I don't know. Um, uh, I gotta bring mine back out. No, no I got the. No. I wonder if paintings look the same on different planets, like aliens, if they're playing, you know, painting the same things, or if it's totally different. Can I have the new CD? I'm I don't know. You think there's like all realist, realist alien painters? So they, they paint their stuff. And they, what medium do they use? And they're regarded as boring painters. But we see this, like, wow, look at that, because it's like, uh, you know, crystalline waterfalls and, you know. Rain, you know, rain that's made out of liquid iron and things like that, and we're painting that. I'm, I'm willing to bet <laughs> that the art on other planets look totally different, but when it's really good, it feels just the same as painters and artists down here sure. when they hit it, because it's yeah. that connectedness. I know. Maybe the medium's different, yeah. or the way that they apply it. Well, I, yeah, know. it's like the art is the same everywhere. You know? What a ridiculous conversation. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the origin of your um, kind of Terry Gilliam kind of melted kind of shots are. Well, where did I get the ideas, you said? Yeah, where did that come well, from? Well, ever since I was a kid, I would just kind of, during reading time, our teacher would read to us, and I would read up coloring while she would talk, read, yeah. I mean, and I would just make really weird squiggly lines, and then I would color them in. So I naturally like to do, make things more flowy and show. I don't know, like sloppiness or relaxing. Yeah, you didn't relaxing. want to follow the lines of the color book. What'd you say? You didn't want to find the, follow the yes, lines of a color book. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'll just make up my own lines. And yeah. Make it more flow-free and no way it just kind of breaks you from having to be like perfectly smooth. You know, light, light also wavers a lot, you know, depending on temperature and yes. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it allows movement. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Um, I don't mean that. I don't want to use all your, like your good art paper or anything. No, it's in my car because I got water all over my stuff. Uh, like when I drop my water wait, bottle. I might I do in my backpack. Oh, good, good. Okay, yeah. Yep, I have a bunch of paper in there. I, have, I usually have everything. I was, yeah. I'm like, I always have the band aids and I always yeah. have the extra paper and pencils. And, right.
last video, it just... <laughs> Yo, you know that big uh, island of garbage, twice the size of Texas in the Pacific Ocean? I want to get a boat and spend a month out on there just painting the garbage. Living on it? Making, living on it, making art on it, you know. You probably, you probably hunt seagulls. What's that? You can hunt seagulls. It might be easy to kill there. You might. It might be toxic. You know. I mean, I'm sure it is. I'm for, sure it's toxic. So I don't know what. Uh, Plus, there's there's two. I think there's two to choose from in the Pacific, and there's one in the Atlantic. There's one in the Indian Ocean. Really? Yeah. It's gross. There, there, well, once the Arctic melts, there will be one there. What's that? Once the Arctic Ocean melts, there will be one there. And, and oil platforms. Well, it's because all the currents they bring the garbage to a certain. Yeah, it's why isn't that on the cover of Time News? It's something that oceans do. Right, right.